Hi, my name is John Sharp, and I'm principal cellist of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is obviously such a great work, and it's a work of great uh, intensity, like much of Beethoven's music, but particularly of a sort of a struggle. Like much of Beethoven's music, it's quite awkward to play. As players say, it's hard to get it into the fingers. When one's preparing and practicing, it really uh, has to be broken down into different elements because each of them are, are quite difficult on their own. So what I think is common to all three of these uh, parts of this excerpt is first of all the intonation is difficult. For instance, if you take the second variation, there's the A flat uh, that happens about five or six times in the first bar. So uh, here again. So some of those, they're played with different fingers. Some of them come from a shift up, some come from a shift down. And that can uh, give you, uh, if you're not careful, slightly different intonation every time you play the A flat. So it's a great way to sort of focus your, your intonation um, just to try to match all of those pitches. If we talk about these uh, three uh, parts of the excerpt individually, the first is the theme. And um, that's often a problem for the player um, uh, in terms of the dotted rhythm that occurs uh, throughout. It's easy to play a triplet instead of a real 16th, which gives a sort of wrong character to the piece. And uh, on the other side, it's easy to play it too fast. And uh, if it's too fast and clipped, it can give it uh, also too sort of flippant a character. So we have to be completely accurate and at the same time uh, expressive. One way of thinking about that is as you, as you play it, you may try to get a, just a hint of vibrato on these quick notes, which are 30 second notes, they're fast. So one doesn't really hear, you know, a true big vibrato. But it rounds off those 30 seconds to keep them from sort of popping out in a way that sounds too active for the piece. If we go to the second part of the excerpt, which is variation one, a very common problem is to play all of those notes portato, which means uh, to indicate each note with the bow. So that's very important to try to uh, eradicate and play completely legato. So instead of, uh, instead of that, we try to really as smooth as possible in the bow. The other thing that helps is to think to have at least a tiny bit of vibrato on every note. It's quite difficult to do, but it becomes very apparent when one note has good vibrato and then another note is completely dead. That way we help to tie notes together and get more of a legato. Also, phrasing is very important to help make it less of each note and have, have the line come through. If we look at the final uh, part of this excerpt, the biggest difficulty in, in this variation is really getting it completely even. It's just constant 
32nd notes, but there are a lot of shiftings and string crossings, fairly awkward things that tend to disturb constant rhythm. So one has to really be careful when there's a shift, when there are these uh, string crossings of um, that we managed to make that change and keep it exactly in the same tempo and the same rhythm. And the final point in preparing for audition is to practice slowly. That's the best way to really hear what's happening. Slow down and you listen very carefully. As musicians, there's the development that we make on our instrument, but there's also the development we make away from the instrument. And that has to do with all of your knowledge about music and what you feel about music. And that comes from experience, from listening, listening to great performances, great performers, learning about music, uh, learning about the composers, going to concerts. And also, I think it has to do with learning about the arts in general, literature, art, dance, they all have aspects that we can draw upon and that help us understand what we're trying to express because ultimately the music really says something that's very important to people, to culture, that goes deeper than just playing your instrument.